Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. So as you can see on the screen right now, I have created the diagram of which is a parent and which is a child. So at this point you can see the app.js, it's a parent component and search result block and input block, they are the child. So usually the good thing is to keep the main state in the parent component and pass it down into children. For example, that in the input block, we are looking for a word and we do an API call and we should do an API call in the app.js and that API call, the result what we get from that API call, it should be passed down into this child, the search result block. But because we have a different concept in this application, what we do is we do an API call in this particular block, in the input block, and this stores the data or stores the result into a database on Firebase. And this block is totally independent. So this block will go and fetch directly from the database and not from the state. So which is good. We don't really have to pass from child into parent and parent to child. So let us see how are we going to do that and let us go ahead with the thing which we were doing before so first of all let me pull that thing for us the code and in this input i'll have to assign a state so this will be a new state search or i can do word and set word for the use state and it will be an empty string all right and this is i don't okay this is the right place where I, where i'm supposed to do it so okay uh, how do you use on change here so i'll have to look into their api okay here it is do we have on change on change it should be perfect here it is and on change set word to e dot target event dot target so that's what this is event target dot value I'll have to put in pass an event as a parameter and let us see what do we get here but first of all let me call word so we get what do we what we are looking for okay so this is not the right one let me close it okay so this is good this is perfect also we will need a button so let us look for a button in this thing button okay or i can yeah, I can directly use this one. So, show code on search. Okay, I think I can use this one. Let me try. Search is good on search I don't want a console dot value I want what exactly this is let me take a look okay I can even use any of this but okay alright so set word value and let's take a look okay perfect this is what we are expecting which is good alright so 
now we are supposed to do API calls, but from where? So let, that's where we will search for API Oxford API, which is good. Okay. So this is how you get your API key here, and let us find for a few words. For example, education. Okay. This gives you a definition for it. Let's search for something different. Webinar. I'm just picking a word from here. Okay, conducted over the internet. This is not uh, accurate uh, definitions. Like there are a bunch of different APIs from where you can get really accurate and more precise information. But this is this is something which we will work for us, which will work for us. So bilingual. Speaking two languages fluently, which is good. If you search for these things online, so it will be more precise and you will get a bunch of other informations as well. See, a person speaking two fluent languages, written or conducted in two different and bunch of additional stuff, which is good, even the te uh, speech. So yeah, at this moment, we won't be focusing too much on that. So let's go ahead and get the API key. And as a developer, I want something for free. API request, 1000 API request for a month, which is OK. All right. So I'll fill up, fill up these informations. And you, you'll need to do it as well. So just do go ahead and do it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.